There's a lot of stress coming up since we're seniors. College applications, deadlines, scholarships. I feel like that's also stressful. And then keeping your semester grades up because I have nine classes. I don't get out till four and then track. An academic, it takes too much time. It's so stressful. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Yahida's overwhelming stress is not uncommon for a high school senior, as graduation and college are just around the corner. A New York University research study conducted in 2015 surveyed 128 students at two elite high schools and found that 49% of them reported being under a great deal of chronic stress. Besides being a student, what if you're in a relationship? I think that your significant other helps you a lot throughout that stress. Like, if I'm stressed out, I'll tell like David about it. He'll make me feel better. Like, your significant other always makes you feel better about all the stress you're going through. While there is stress, Yahida and Xavier express excitement for what is ahead. Something that excites me from co about college and thinking about my future would be the possible new connections that I can make. You become more social, you get to more, have more friends and everything. But it helps with businesses and stuff because it lets you have, like, networking skills and connections within the world. Pretty excited to see how I change throughout the four years. But how does the imminent change of going off to college affect a romantic relationship? Samantha Lee, a sophomore at Arizona State University, dated her high school boyfriend for a little over two years. While he was still in high school, she was now at a state college 45 minutes away. You start having different priorities, your classes get harder, you join more activities, and you might diverge as, as people just in general. You change a lot. I can see a big difference in myself from when I was a senior to now. For the first semester of college, it didn't change that much. We still talked regularly. Our problem was trying to talk to each other face to face over FaceTime or something like that. Which is what Yahida and Xavier will have to do. Both are planning to apply to pre-med programs with the hopes of careers in medicine. But Xavier plans to go to an in-state university, while Yahida has her sights set on Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee. Just like any other relationship, do they stay together or do they break up? Yeah, baby. What do you think, Yahida? I think we could work things out because, like, we work pretty well from what I've seen so far. <laughs> like, I don't really think breaking up would be like a thing at the moment because we, we're working pretty well. Everything seems to go smoothly. What I'm saying is, it's fine if she wants to go out of state. Like, if you want to do that, go for it, man. Like, that's what you want. But what I'm saying, like, if you want to do that, we could do that whole, like, long distance communication. Research conducted by the Statistic Brain Institute in September 2017 reports that 32.5% of college relationships are long distance. This can be attributed to the hardship of letting a high school relationship go. Once I got to college, we dated for another nine months or so. We hit our two years in April of my freshman year. I think it was around January actually that I had a bad time. I didn't see, I hadn't seen him for six weeks. Sometime in the second semester of college he decided that he was going to go to the University of Arizona and it was that two-hour distance and the fact that we had seen each other a handful of times in a period of about six months that ultimately we both realized that it wasn't going to work. Be it a stress now as seniors or later as college students, Yahida and Xavier share what they think will be the key for their relationship to survive college and the distance. Communication is important in every relationship. Long distance, short distance, imaginary, doesn't matter. <laughs> of course, com communication is going to be important because other than that, there's nothing going to be really physical or anything, but also commitment is going to be very important with that and trust, definitely trust. College is an entirely new experience, one that will present Yahida and Xavier with challenges and opportunities. While Samantha's relationship ended, she says it was another opportunity to grow. The whole world is going to change. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to accept that you might become a different person, you both might become different people, and that it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just may not work anymore, and that's okay. Hopefully you learned from it, 